Now he's, our opponents want to turn America into communist Cuba or socialist Venezuela. Fox's Rachel Sutherland has more on the Democratic Challenger's final day live. Dave, Joe Biden is spending his final full day of campaigning with stops in Cleveland, Ohio, and three more in Pennsylvania, canvassing his birth state with several events, including an appearance with Lady Gaga. At a drive-in rally in Philadelphia Sunday, Biden pledged to unify America. The only thing that can tear America apart is America itself. And that's exactly what Trump's been trying to do from the very beginning, dividing America. The former vice president and his wife focusing on western Pennsylvania. Running mate Kamala Harris and her husband are covering the state's central and eastern regions. Dave? Rachel, the president will also today go to North Carolina, Wisconsin, and Michigan. He'll wrap up campaigning tonight in Grand Rapids, the same place he held his final 2016 rally. The president ended a five-state swing Sunday early this morning in Florida, where the crowd chanted, Fire Fauci. The president replied, maybe wait till after the election. No, he's been wrong on a lot. He's a nice man, though. He's been wrong on a lot. Now, the White House Task Force Dr. Anthony Fauci is predicting a whole lot of hurt to come in this coronavirus crisis. Fox News Democracy 2020 coverage of election results is tomorrow night. You can watch on the Fox News channel. Listen on the Fox News app. An actor is dead. Eddie Hassel from the TV show Surface and the movie The Kids Are All Right. He was shot near Dallas, Texas early yesterday, then died at a hospital. Hassel was only 30. America's listening to Fox News. At Fisher Investments, we do things differently, and other money managers don't understand why. Because our way works great for us. But it may not work for your clients. That's why Fisher Investments is a fiduciary obligated to put clients first. It's the highest standard for a financial advisor. So what do you provide? Cookie cutter portfolios like the rest of us? No cookie cutter portfolios here. Fisher Investments tailors portfolios to meet each client's goals and needs. But you do sell investments that earn you high commissions, right? And make commissions when you make trades for your clients? No, Fisher Investments doesn't sell any commission investment products, and we never earn commissions on trades. So what's in it for you? Fisher Investments fees are structured so we do better when our clients do better. When it comes to helping clients achieve a comfortable retirement, we're clearly different. Visit FisherInvestments.com to find out why investors like you switch to us. Fisher Investments, clearly different money management. Investments in securities involve the risk of loss. There's some concern in Louisiana where Hurricane Zeta last week was the fifth storm to hit the state since June. The power outages it caused could keep some polling places in the dark. New Orleans Democratic Mayor Latoya Cantrell says it's unclear whether electrical service will be restored to the powerless precincts in time. She's accusing the Republican Secretary of State Kyle Arduin of refusing to provide support for generators. Arduin has said polling places would receive generators for Election Day, but he didn't specify whether providing the generators would be a state or local responsibility. He said in a statement, it's unfortunate politicians like Cantrell are trying to score cheap political points instead of being part of the solution. Rob Dawson, Fox News. There's yet another hurricane, Ada, formed early this morning. It's a threat to Central America, not the U.S. Ada's on track to hit Nicaragua and Honduras tomorrow, potentially causing flooding and landslides. The Supreme Court gets back to work, hearing new cases today, the first ones for the new justice. On Friday, Justice Amy Coney Barrett participated in her first closed-door conference with her fellow justices, where they discussed which cases to add to the docket and which to turn away. There will be oral arguments in two cases today, two tomorrow and then a closely watched one on Wednesday. Barrett will hear a case involving Philadelphia's decision to exclude Catholic social services from its foster care system because the agency declines to place foster children with same-sex couples because of its religious objections to gay marriage. Oral arguments will be conducted remotely by teleconference because of the coronavirus pandemic. This Fox's John Decker on Wall Street. There could be a rally brewing. Dow futures up nearly 400 points before a new week and a new month. After selling ended October, dragging the Dow down 4.6% last month in October. In the NFL, Philadelphia beat Dallas last night 23-9 after Pittsburgh topped Baltimore 28-24. The Steelers remain undefeated.
I'm Dave Anthony, and this is Fox News. Well, big week. Here we go. ESPN 93.5 three-day weather from the National Weather Service. Morning, Diane Ducey. Morning, Stevie. Sunny today. Starting out chilly, though. 19 earlier. It looks like uh, 25 on the reading at Willard. We're up to 53 with sunshine and clear and a low 36 into the evening tonight. Sunshine expected tomorrow as you get out and vote with a high 67 down to around 43. 71 on Wednesday with sunshine. Right now we're 25 on ESPN 93.5. Here we go. It is November 2 and you know what that means. Professor, University of Texas at Arlington, over 55 years. My friend Alan Sachs, how are you, sir? I've been laughing and crying all morning. I'm watching a video, I don't know if you've seen it or not, of a big Biden-Harris bus paid for with big Democratic bucks. And by the way, it's the Democratic Party that has the money, not the Republicans, regardless of what sleepy Joe Biden says. And this bus, the cavalry arrives. And it's a bus on a heavily traveled road between San Antonio and Austin. And here come the Trump little pickup trucks. And they surround the Biden-Harris bus. And, and the woman who's taking the video, it is the funniest thing in the world. And she says a lot of bad words, which I cannot uh, pronounce on television or, or say it out loudly. And she says, oh, blank. Look at that. <laughs> and then she giggles. Oh, look at that. <laughs> yeah, I it's know. Incredible. The FBI is actually investigating intimidation and stuff. They canceled. These are surrogates. Right. They canceled their uh, events, I guess, in Texas over okay. the weekend. Yeah. Five uh, rallies for the president yesterday. Five more today. I don't know how he does it with the stamina. I don't either. I, don't. I, I, I can't even barely stay up past 11 o'clock at night. <laughs> and uh, he can make. He's doing five rallies a day and another five today and i think even some tomorrow just, just, just in, in, incredible you think about joe biden doing that no way well here's joe biden at a rally in pennsylvania i know philadelphia well and by the way i got my eagles jacket on he actually um he didn't have his eagles jacket on he had the delaware mud hens jacket on oh, okay. <laughs> He had the wrong jacket he on. Even know what he's wearing. He, he had the wrong jacket on. Uh, okay. And then again, he doesn't even know what he's wearing. I, I just I make sure you've got the right. But nobody could see it from the drive-in. Donald Trump thinks health care is a privilege. Brock and I think it's a right for people that have bad in health care. Huh? For people that have bad in health care. I think he meant health care, but I'm not. For people that have bad in health care. Listen, he's he's supposed to be the next president of the United States. Some of this stuff is is I can't make it up. Oh boy. I can't. I know what. <laughs> I can't it's make incredible. it up. I, I don't know. I, I was I telling some people at my house yesterday, can you understand what he's saying at the end? And none of them could. It was like, uh. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what impact uh, anything has when it comes to endorsements. I mean, you've got Lady Gaga coming out in Pennsylvania. It, isn't Lady Gaga anti-fracking? And she's going to. Oh, uh, I would think so. <laughs> I mean, it, it, w w wait a minute. You're going to put a. Uh, anti if she's anti-fracking, why would you go to Pennsylvania with her? That's where they need fracking. They don't know. They don't know. They're, they're just jumping on, you know. Oh. They have all the money in the world. By the way, I should mention that. Joe Biden was talking about the big shots with money. Well, look at his own political party. Look at his own campaign coffers. They're full of just huge amounts of money that are poured in from the Democrats. The Democrats are out spending Republicans in some states three to one. And, he, and yet he has the audacity to talk about uh, money, money, those Republicans with money. Yeah. No, Mr. Biden, it is the Democrats with the money. Yeah, this is coming from former Democrat Alan Sachs, our friend in Texas. Okay, so Pittsburgh paper, for the first time since 1972, endorsed Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. He said, Amazing. based on what has happened, Donald Trump gets our support. And also Mike Pence is... Totally capable of being the president. Kamala Harris is not, is what it said. Oh. <laughs> that is so true. Yeah. I don't know, Alan. I don't know where we are. Now, again, I'm not really putting all my stock in these polls that were absolutely wrong in 2016. But 
if the polls are right and it was an outlier, then Biden has won. It's already over. But if you go with the Trafalgar group, Trafalgar group has had it right in 16 and 18. Are they right? If they're right, Trump's going to win again. And I don't know he's what going to win again. I have no and, idea and what's going to happen. He's going to win again. Trump is going to win. And if you look at uh, last night, I listened to a talk show called the Glenn Cunningham Show. I think he's out of, out of Ohio. And he had on Rudolph Giuliani, uh, the counselor to the president. And he was, at, these are his words, I'm paraphrasing, but these are, are Mr. Giuliani's words that the Biden family is a crime syndicate. <laughs> he really said it that way. They're a crime syndicate. And the media won't cover it. They won't cover Hunter Biden. They won't talk about it. That is another sin of this campaign that we're learning about, the corruption of big media and big corporations like Twitter you know, and yeah, Facebook yeah. and all that kind of nonsense. Uh, they are in the bag for Biden and the, and the Democrats, and it's a shame what they're doing. They are the censors of our society. Yeah, and I don't know how we get that back. When trust is broken, how do you ever get it back? That's right. That's right. But if Trump becomes president again, and I think he will, something ought to be done about this. The Congress ought to move, as they did with Standard Oil of New Jersey many, many years ago, break up Twitter and Facebook and all that nonsense. Facebook is just nonsense. And everybody says, well, I hooked up with my old high school sweetheart of 30 years ago. Well, forget it. You know what I mean? You can do it in, in, in another way. But Zuckerberg and uh, Jack Dorsey and all these people, you would think that they would have sense enough to know America is a free speech place. Instead, they want to close it down. Have you seen anything that even compares slightly to these uh, uh, Trump rallies? I've never seen anything like this. Amazing. And there was one in Michigan yesterday. And the wind chill was minus 20 degrees. And the crowd stayed there. I couldn't believe it. But you could tell that President Trump was also very cold. Yeah, he takes big breaths. He didn't like it either. No. But they stayed there for an hour and a half in wind chill of minus 20 oh. somewhere in Michigan. I forgot the town. And it was cold. And there were snow flurries around. And the crowd stayed there with him. And he stayed there. It's amazing. With Joe Biden, he comes out for 10 minutes uh, walking some kind of a deliberate step, and then he makes a run to show people he's still alive, you know. And uh, it's, it's, by the way, I'm making fun of him because I am Joe Biden <laughs> in, in many ways. I cannot walk, but I can't even run as good as he does. But he does not deserve to be president. To be president, you have to have some kind of, of uh, physical stamina. And Joe Biden does not have it. Now, the Pittsburgh paper just flat, I've not heard anybody say this flat out because I didn't think you could anymore, but they said he's just too old. He's just too old for president. It's not just age, but he has aged very badly. And there are some people older who are in pretty good shape, but there are some people, like I, I saw a photo of some men in their 90s and some business executives, yeah. and they look pretty good. And their minds are operating. They're very sharp. They look good. and But Joe Biden ain't one of them. Okay, so you believe that uh, Donald Trump will be uh, president for four more years? Yeah, I'm going to go out on a limb. And the limb may break. But I'm going to go out on a limb. <laughs> You've got to watch this video. And by the way, I think the same thing happened in other states, too. Is the Garden State Highway in New Jersey? Mm, I'm not sure. I think it is. A similar thing happened on what's called the Garden State Highway, where the Trump cavalry came in to surround a Biden-Harris bus. You know, it is, it is the funniest thing in the world. Well, uh, you it know, you it's, there's a whole bunch of organic stuff that's popping up. I know that uh, both, right. both sides kind of think they have a good chance. I, I, I mean, again, we're, we're in uncharted waters. I remember going uh, to my couch uh, in 2016 with a remote in my right hand. I said, as soon as they say Florida goes to Clinton, I'm turning it off. I don't want to go through it. And it never happened. That's right. It never happened. So what's the truth? We'll find out maybe tomorrow. Do you, do you think there'll be a long, drawn-out thing this time, Alan? There may be. But on the other hand, on the other hand, I think Trump may win so big tomorrow that even in Philadelphia, they can't seal enough votes. Alan Sachs, we'll talk next week. We'll know, I hope, uh, who the next president, my friend. I appreciate your time. 
Thank you so much. It's 715, Professor Alan Sachs, University of Texas at Arlington, longtime guest on the program. Mm -hmm. And he says Donald Trump wins. Anybody else have any thoughts, inklings? I'm prepared for anything. I really am because I really don't know. Right. Last year, last time it was Hillary Clinton. I went and said, this, she's going to win. They say all the polls, it's all. I don't trust the polls anymore. I have no idea why everybody does. Now, if everything turns out and Biden is a landslide winner, okay, then the polls are right. And then we have a little more balance. You say, okay, well, then they had it right this time. But if the polls miss again. Why would any news organization ever quote anything again? It's all wrong. And so we're led to believe Biden has this big lead nationally. It seems to be closing. It's not 10 anymore. It's, he's only up seven. I'm going, uh, Trafalgar Group doesn't even have him winning. Rasmussen doesn't have him winning. Susquehanna uh, poll doesn't have him winning. So who's, who's right and who's wrong? I don't know. I don't know either. That's why we'll wait and see, I guess, is all we can do. There's going to be a lot of voting tomorrow. 94 million people have already cast their ballot. Isn't that wild? Yep. Here we go with sports headlines. All right, NFL teams of local interest. New Orleans beats the Bears 26-23 in overtime, it was, Stevie. Uh, it was a grind. It really was. It was quite a game. Bears, you know, did a lot of negative, bad things. Mm -hmm. and it, it, The Saints should have won based on the mistakes the Bears made, but it went all the way to overtime. I mean, Bears were down 10 with three minutes to go. Mm -hmm. They took it to overtime, and Saints survived, and I'm a Saints fan, so I was happy, but I know a lot of Bear fans are bummed. They've got to go. Bears have to go to Tennessee. They're really good. That'll be next Sunday. Okay. Well, Minnesota beat Green Bay 28-22. Indianapolis is Colts 41-21 winners over Detroit. Pittsburgh is 7-0 with their win over Baltimore. They're the only undefeated team. That final yesterday, 28-24. Tampa Bay and the New York Giants in action at 7 o'clock tonight. As you know, Purdue beat the Illini 31-24. Any thoughts? Yeah, I, think I mean, it was, you know, again, it's one of those where... Surprised it was that close. You have, you know, 13 guys out or right. whatever the heck it was. Mm, so the 14. rumors about, you know, coronavirus was correct. Uh-huh. I thought Kent Brown, when he was on with us, was, you know, answered politically correct. I said, That's right. something's wrong. That's I, I, knew, right. I, I, I didn't know, but I knew when I heard the news, I, I wasn't surprised. But I don't understand the contact tracing that would take Isaiah Williams out for I two know. weeks. I don't get that. The exposure story. You, I, I, you just test every day, right. and after like seven or eight days, you're fine. I thought so, too. I, 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 don't, I don't understand that. I think the Big Ten has just gone overboard on, on some of this stuff. Anyway, Illinois will be in the same position against Minnesota. Minnesota's 0-2. We're 0-2. 2.30 mm, on Saturday. I think it'll be a challenge for the Illini to win much this year because then we go to Rutgers and they're much improved and then it gets into the Ohio States and Iowas and stuff. So who knows? We'll just It's week by week. I, I think they're trying, but it's a weird year, and, and Lovey's going to be struggling to win a game. So, so wild to drive on for, uh, First Street uh, near Memorial yeah. Stadium during the game. I took a picture and posted it on Twitter. It's just so sad. Yeah, nothing, nothing, nothing. The I, buzz I, of I, tailgating. I drove down uh, Kirby, then Florida. Uh -huh. Drove right by the stadium. No barricades, no I nothing. No. Yikes. I, just really a weird feeling. Yeah. Uh, top 25 AP poll. Clemson on top still, but it was close against Boston College, 30 34 28, so they didn't get as many first place I mean, votes. The quarterback has coronavirus. Oh, yeah, that's right. Trevor Lawrence is out, and he's out for the Notre Dame that's game. That's so. a Notre Dame game, too. Yeah. So, and Notre Dame at number four, so that's going to be a game. Well, um, yeah. uh, you, you miss your quarterback. Right. It's going to be tough for, for, for Clemson to beat Notre Dame. I right. Think. Alabama at number two. Ohio State at number three. We have Wisconsin at 10. Indiana is at 13. Yeah. They haven't been that high. Oh since 87. Yep. Michigan, even though they were beat by Michigan State at 23. Yeah. Here's your weather. All right, we've got sunshine now. Temperatures currently at 26. We're up to... Ah! I'm hurrying. Okay, 52 down to 36. 67 tomorrow for people who are voting on Election yeah, Day. Wow. And then up to 71 wow. Wednesday with mostly sunny conditions. A pretty nice start yep. to November. Kind of windy yesterday. Again, we're at 27 on ESPN 93.5. Right, what are these markets doing? Look like they're rallying after, after a pretty tough mm. October. Uh, futures up 400. Fox Business Minute brought to you by Starla Carr and Rob Meyer. Provident Financial Group in Champaign, where partnerships are built on trust. Find Starla or Rob at Provident Financial Group. 
LLC.com. Champaign County shut down again for restaurants and bars. We'll discuss that in a moment. 720 ESPN 93.5. I'm Liz Clayman, and this is the Fox Business Report. Clorox products are still in demand. The company's been selling more of its cleaning products in the pandemic. It says sales increased 27% in the summer quarter. Clorox says at a time of global uncertainty, the results speak to the strength of its brands. Lumber Liquidators is reporting a strong summer quarter. Its earnings and sales improved because it says people were more willing to allow contractors into their homes, but tariffs on imports from China had an impact on its business. Separately, Lumber Liquidators is closing all eight of its stores in Canada and will close six stores in the U.S. by the end of the year. European airline Air France KLM's outlook for November and December is weakening. Analysts at Barclays say winter will be tough for the airline. That's your Fox Business Report. I'm Ginny Cosola. Invested in you. election day america is listening to fox news radio for complete coverage starting at 6 p.m east it's the campaign with brett bear and perino and steyerwalt i'll tell you what followed by live democracy 2020 coverage led by national correspondent jared halpern political analyst josh krausar and fox news radio reporters from around the country along with fox news channel contributors and experts download the fox news app and just click listen at the bottom of the screen to hear it live Hi, I'm Troy Lands, owner of Lands Inc. You never realize how much you rely on the plumbing in your home until something goes wrong. A small leak can end up with a big repair if it's not taken care of right away. At the first sign of trouble, visit LandsInc.com. While there, learn more about plumbing, drain cleaning, and underground solutions. At Lands Inc., our commitment is to you, the customer. We look forward to having you be a part of the Lands family. I'm Troy Lands, and you can count on my company because you can count on me. This is Starla Carr with Provident Financial Group. At Provident, our job is to help people plan for and get through some of life's toughest challenges. Our mission is to provide each of our clients with individualized strategies, premier service, and independent thinking to help them achieve their financial goals. Contact us today at 3017 Village Office Place, Champaign. Call 217-366-3456 or find us online at ProvidentFinancialGroupLLC.com. Securities and advisory services offered through Commonwealth Financial Network. Member FINRA SIPC, a registered investment advisor. If you're looking for a car dealership that is 100% attentive to detail, look no further than Sarah Champagne. Sarah Champagne knows you have high expectations, but they enjoy the challenge of meeting and exceeding those standards each and every time. Sarah Honda, Sarah BMW, Sarah GMC, Sarah Buick, and Sarah Subaru in Savoy or online, Sarah, S-E-R-R-A, Champagne.com. All right, need a fridge, need a something for Thanksgiving? Yeah, Dick Van Dyke Appliance World standing by. It's not too late to get it all set for Thanksgiving. Which, my friends, is uh, 24 days. Wow. Till Thanksgiving. <laughs> Though we have no idea where we are, I still have my lawn chair out waiting on the fireworks, <laughs> so I my whole schedule's off. Anyway, Dick Van Dyke Appliance World, uh, you can go online to appliance-world.com and do your due diligence, get on the phone, talk. Heck, you can even buy everything on the phone. you got a credit card. You yep. can do that. Uh, you can sign up for exclusive offers, get the latest deals, talk to people. You can go into the store. They're on Neil as you drive toward Marketplace Mall. And it's on the right-hand side there before you get to the I-74 interchange. They are local. They've been around since 1977. They're in Bloomington, Springfield, Decatur, and Champaign. Not only low prices, but the best selection of appliances in central Illinois. They specialize in appliance service as well. Don't forget, you can't beat their free 10-year protection plan. Wow! Dick Van Dyke Appliance World. Since 1977 at appliance appliance world.com. All right, so restaurants and bars shut here in Region 6. I like to say District 6. It reminds me of Hunger Games, and that's <laughs> oh, kind of okay. where we are. We're in a district now. We've surpassed the 8% positivity rate for three consecutive days. Well, we days. didn't do anything. You're right. We're at 5% in Champaign County. Right. But we could not uh, get an audience, apparently a serious audience with the governor, to say, hey, man, look at us. We've tested more per capita than any place in the globe, in the world. I'm just guessing, but there's no way anybody, the population of 200,000 done 800,000 yeah. tests. We're just under We've that, I guess. We've been spitting since July. Hey, listen, this is, <laughs> this is, uh, is going to be devastating for thousands of restaurant owners in the state of Illinois. And I guess 
that's just the way it is when the corona spread is at 1.5 percent i think on restaurant and bars i believe that's the number 1.5 percent it does not seem to be the reason that there are more and more cases the deal is this is highly contagious people that are vulnerable need to be extraordinarily careful because you might die but people who are healthy under age 70 you might even not know you have it so it's uh, you're going to survive but there are some that will die so we ha- at least know that and that if you take precautions i think people ought to do their own risk assessment and be able to operate however they want um i i, I don't know when this will end I do know that we were sufficiently scared enough to not go trick-or-treating. I have a two-gallon bag of candy I'll be bringing to you, Diane. I know that you're not eating that right now. I'm not interested. I know. And neither is my family. I had four trick-or-treaters. Okay. We normally have 100, Mm -hmm. so there was no action. Well, we were happy with our Tolono uh, parade, over 75 entries. Golf carting yes, in Tolono. exactly. Everybody and that socially was social distance, distance of course. But yeah. still, to yeah. see people in costume and having fun was unusual to me. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't know how things were going to work out. But if we have that positivity rate fall to 6.5% or below for three consecutive days, then the tiers of mitigation may be considered. May be considered. This is what socialism feels like, yeah. my friends. This is what it means to wait with bated breath as to what we're allowed to do. Can we maybe go out and, yes, thank you, hair government. We're so excited. Thank you so much. Mm-hmm. It makes me sick. Mm-hmm. Nobody likes this. Nobody wants this. But they have that kind of power under the auspices of a pandemic, and and there is a pandemic. But we know so much more about it, I suggest we learn to live with it and allow people to make their own risk assessments. What we're doing to the kids in the schools, and it's just damage we'll never be able to measure. What's happening when people are, are so in despair and depression, drug use, alcohol use, suicides, abuse, what's happening on the other side of this thing? Government officials have have just no possible chance to understand that because they've never been through that. They're all being paid, and that's the difference is that money continues to flow for people that work for the state and for our government, and good for them. They got that kind of job. But in the private industry, if you don't have a restaurant, guess what? You're not waitressing tonight. Mm Mm-hmm. And, and what does that do to you? Well, I can't pay the rent. And then how long is that going to last? Well, that's, I mean, the government has already imposed these masks. You know how long we're going to be wearing these masks? It's going to be a very, very long time because it got political. Now it's like climate change. Don't question it or I'm going to get in your face. Don't question the mask. I'm going to get in your face. Isn't that what it is? I mean, that's Pretty where we are much. now. You, if you take your mask off, now, I actually saw somebody in a store that didn't have a mask on. I just said, oh, I don't, whatever. Right? I don't have to go but breathe. But you do on. notice it. You notice it, and you're just waiting, you know, which arch back, waiting for that somebody to come up and get in their face. I was at church at St. John's on campus um, yesterday, and I just took my mask to the side to scratch my nose, which was really bothering me. And my son Aiden's like elbowing me. Put your mask on, Mom. <laughs> Doing mask. No, it's where I'm it's like, where it's what? like it's like now I'm already away from it, you're, you're afraid of the mask police <sighs> so district six is now under the uh no bars no restaurants are going to catch up with um eric meyer i think he's trying to do something about it legally well and patrick had texted in from muhammad um about east peoria mayor, uh, mayor announcing he will not be enforcing governor's orders to support small town businesses and supports his small towns and businesses. So a lot of uh, restaurant pushback, and, and maybe some of them are trying to stay open. Well, I, I think if you are trying to stay open, um, I do believe that um, there's going to be a lot of, um, well, I mean, it's it's going to be up to what? Uh, Julia Reitz, right? Or, or is it the it could public be. health? Public I don't know. Public health comes in. Has the jurisdiction to sh- shut you down? I think the state can take away your liquor license, and how long is it going to take for you to get it back? Um, so it's a threat and certainly it's, um, if you're going to go out of business anyway, I, I think you just say, you know what, I'm, I'm not closing and we'll see if people come. But again, there's, there's just despair, but good news. I believe the governor's daughter kept her equestrian schedule all fall. Okay. So she flew to six States when it wasn't allowed for anybody else to do her equestrian work. Yeah. So in district six, it it does feel a little hunger game-ish where you have the opulent and those that are in the city that have everything. Mm Mm-hmm. 
Uh, but then again, it's despicable to ask about the first family. I forgot That's what the governor said. 359-2255, you want to chime in or mess- message us on Facebook Live. A lot of you are out there on Facebook Live this morning. So far, I have not been turned off. Yeah. Apparently, I was last week when I said something <laughs> about the 12 um, Communist China censure people that work for Facebook in Seattle. True story. Uh, I'm sure I'm saying different things and the bots are picking them up. So Mm -hmm. uh, enjoy your Facebook Live while you have it. That's right. We will be right back. I am Stevie J, not afraid. I'm just going to do this under the auspices of a peaceful protest and therapy. And at 730. Fox News. I'm Chris Foster. One more day to make their case. President Trump holds five campaign rallies today. Joe Biden, four, telling supporters yesterday. The only thing that can tear America apart is America itself. And that's exactly what Trump's been trying to do from the very beginning, dividing America. Our opponents want to turn America into communist Cuba or socialist Venezuela, and we're not going to let that happen. The first polls open in some states at 6 a.m. tomorrow. New Supreme Court Justice Amy Coney Barrett starts hearing cases today. On Friday, Justice Amy Coney Barrett participated in her first closed-door conference with her fellow justices, where they discussed which cases to add to the docket and which to turn away. Today, as the Supreme Court convenes for its November sitting, oral arguments will be conducted remotely by teleconference because of the coronavirus pandemic. Fox's John Decker. America's listening to Fox News. This message brought to you by PDR Automotive. Fall is here in Champaign-Urbana, and October is an important month. It's not only Car Care Month, it's also Breast Cancer. Cancer Awareness Month. So ladies, please schedule your screening today. And to schedule your car care winter inspection, that can be done at pdrauto.com or by calling 367-9481. That's pdrauto.com or at 367-9481. Remember, they're what's best for your truck or car. They are PDR, keeping you safe out on the roads this winter. Pia's opens every morning daily at 7 a.m. You will find it all at Pia's with live video gaming, sports, food, drinks, and fun. See you at Pia's West Springfield Avenue in Champaign. Serving food 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. and drinks until 2 a.m. daily. Pia serves up its famous 10-ounce Slugger Burger along with great wings and so much more. You will find it all at Pia's with live video gaming, sports, food, drinks, and fun. See you at Pia's West Springfield Avenue in Champaign. Your days are busy. It's hard to find time to plan your dream retirement or ensure you're doing enough to save for tomorrow's needs. With over 145 years of strength and service in our communities, Busey is the ideal partner to ensure your dreams become reality. Visit Busey.com or stop by one of our many convenient locations for solutions to your banking and wealth management needs. Busey, your dream, our promise. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Caution, a virus has been detected. Captain, our bandwidth is too low and the firewall is down. The viruses are attacking. This is an emergency. We'll be just fine. All we need is a competent captain, such as myself. Computer, how are we looking? Guidance cannot compute. Computers have been infested. We should have used area-wide. Quickly, call down to area-wide technologies to Champagne. The number is 359-8041. Security threat neutralized. Area wide has done it again. We must remember to call them for our cyber security need. Take us home, Lieutenant. Um, I don't know. Easy in Danville says the little Lulu's or Betty Lou's or the gambling corners mm-hmm. are still open. They say a uh, gambling machine's open because that's the state's money. Well, why can't Eric Meyer be open and not serve food or alcohol? He has gambling machines. Why right? can't that area, that right. little room off to the left, be open? I don't get it. I don't get it. Uh, that doesn't make any sense if that's if that's correct. I. How can you... Huh. <laughs> well, it is state money. Okay, I get it. Well, maybe they should just make the beer and the burgers state money. Maybe we'd be open well, then. Well, they do get tax money. Well, maybe we just give them more if that's what it takes. Back money. Ah, we just geez. give them money. High 52 with the sunshine. Clear and a low 36 tonight. 67 with sunshine tomorrow. Down to 43. Up to 71 Wednesday. 68 Thursday. Friday 70. Saturday 71. Wow, this is a great forecast. Every day closer to spring as we get dark now at 5. Hope you enjoyed your... Nice extra hour of sleep. That's right. Have you adjusted all the clock shit and figured all I'll, that out? I only have three. Okay. So, wow. Yeah, we're just all on the iPhone. Well, so. good for you. Yeah. 28 now on ESPN 93.5. All right. Ryan Kaysen coming up. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll be talking about the um, 
the election. <laughs> Shock. And then stand by, friends. You do not want to miss 745, which is uh, 10 minutes from now. State Senator Chapin Rose, the oft entertaining and very passionate. I think it's a good word for Chapin. Uh, we will get Chapin uh, on the phone here in 10 minutes to talk about stuff. Again, you're welcome to chime in during these segments. Uh, we really appreciate you listening. 359-2255 to send me a text message. Or go to Facebook Live and you can message us there. So I am a big Les Miserables fan, so this song came to mind today. President of the United States. He's a political strategist, CEO of Beast Digital, Ryan Casson. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Anything going on in your life? No, not much. Yeah. Pretty quiet. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> okay, so um <laughs> how do you how do you evaluate uh, with one more day? Uh, well, I think the, that campaigns matter. We said it all along, and Trump is closing strong and with momentum. Um, you know, look to the to the mainstream media for the red flags and the warning signs, right? So, um, the, you know, it, Washington Post said Democrats grow more anxious in Pennsylvania. Politico said that Democrats need to stop the bleeding in critical Miami-Dade County, and Bloomberg says Biden aids the warning signs in black and Latino turnout so far. So, you know, obviously the campaigns uh, or the Trump campaign's final blitz here at the end is having a real effect in uh, making Democrats nervous about what Election Day turnout might look like. Well, real, real clear politics. Uh, Biden has a seven point lead. Biden's up five in Pennsylvania. He's up a point in Florida. It's uh, Biden in Minnesota, Biden in Arizona. This is the problem, Ryan. In two, 2016, I knew Hillary was going to win. I had the remote in my right hand. I was going to bail early after Florida went to Hillary. It was inevitable. It's all over. And then it wasn't. Huh. So how in the world do, does everybody wait on every poll? I find two or three, the only ones credible that were right in 16 and correct in 2018, like Trafalgar Group, and they have a completely different result. So what am I to believe? Yeah, and, and you know, look, uh, 538 is is looking at that uh, national lead for Biden of, of upwards of nine points, like you mentioned, and they're projecting out based on historical uh, trends what the electoral college m might look like. They're saying that when the lead is like that, you're you're looking at a blowout, 365 to 489 electoral college votes for Biden, which for, is for, for Biden. utterly ridiculous. For Biden. But then, course, but, but so. then, but then, Nate Silver yeah. said, if. Trump wins Pennsylvania, Biden's in trouble. Wait a minute. I thought you had him at 460. What is it? That, that's exactly right. And, you know, that this is why trust in, you know, media is at an all-time low. It's because there's a narrative, and it's more important to support the narrative rather than to r report the facts and, and speak the truth. Look at the facts on the ground. In Florida, there's only a 100,000 vote advantage for Democrats over Republicans right now. We know that Democrats overwhelmingly showed up early and vote by mail, uh, and the Republicans are going to overwhelmingly show up on Election Day. 100,000 votes is not a large gap to, to imagine the uh, Trump supporters coming out and closing very quickly. Arizona, same story. 43,000 advantage for Democrats over Republicans. Uh, you know, th this is this is the reality is that Americans are making their voice heard regardless of what the polls, which, you know, at a certain point become a form of voter suppression because they tell you, don't even bother, go out and vote. It doesn't matter. This is already in the bag for Biden. So, Ryan, is there any way you have connections to get me in to be an advisor to uh, Joe Biden? Because they must be getting hundreds of thousands of dollars in some genius told him to go get an anti-fracker like Lady Gaga to go to Pennsylvania today with him. What? What? Wow. So, so, so tone deaf. And on top of it, this uh, this uh, posturing from Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren that they're going to be in a Biden cabinet has forced the Biden campaign to come out this morning and say that they're going to have, you know, float this trial balloon, that they're having a ban on any U.S. senators in the cabinet to try to quash that. I mean, the reality is the, the Biden campaign is getting knocked around 
And the Trump campaign has an extremely clear, extremely consistent message that goes from place to place as the president travels. Yeah, it's it's. Have you ever seen crowds at a political anything like this that's happening with Donald Trump? No, it's stunning. It's crowds. It's the you know, uh, uh, it's the flotillas. It's the you know, trucks driving down the highway. I mean, it's everywhere. People are, um, you know, there there was this notion of the shy Trump voter, and that may be the silent majority, but. The people who are uh, hardcore Trump fans, they are out aggressively and they are pumping folks up to go vote uh, tomorrow. All right. What do you think happens uh, Election Day? Who gives uh, at what date will there be a concession? That's a great question. So I think that Donald Trump will have a significant lead after in-person votes are counted tomorrow. And the question is, is is that lead significant enough that when mail-in ballots start coming in, that uh, that it continues, um, you know, when all of the votes are counted. Look, in Arizona, Florida, North Carolina, Georgia, those will report quickly. Pennsylvania and Michigan, those ones will lag behind. And um, that, that's where there's potential for funny business, uh, especially if you know that you have to win Pennsylvania to win. You know, the Biden campaign is going to do everything they can legally to make sure that those votes are there one way or another. Well, if, if, if you have, uh, again, Trafalgar says Trump wins Florida, Georgia, North Carolina, uh, Arizona, Iowa. If that happens, Ryan, then Trump doesn't need to win Pennsylvania, Michigan, Wisconsin, just needs one of them. That's right. And there's, uh, you know, one of the things I'm watching closely is what are the candidates saying on election night when the votes for in person voting are counted and we see the electoral map? Is President Trump or is it, you know, Joe Biden coming on the stage and declaring victory? Are the campaigns posturing and sending out surrogates mm-hmm. trying to say, well, no, this isn't over yet? Mm-hmm. I think you know we're, we're moving from one phase of, of, of a very distinct campaign battle into a second phase of a very different campaign battle that could go on for several weeks. Well, we'll see. And again, what I'm kind of hoping for is something really weird happens and they call Minnesota to Trump and then I'll relax because it'll be over. Now, I, I think that's possible. That's right. Unbelievable, Ryan. How Absolutely. do people? How do people Absolutely. find? How do people? How do people connect with uh, you at uh, Beast Digital? Just visit beastdigital.com. And you're saying something? There's a chance Minnesota would go to the uh, president. Just, just look at where the candidate is traveling. That's the most valuable resource the candidates have at this point in time. You're seeing campaign. You're, you're seeing Joe Biden and other campaign surrogates split Minnesota. Try short it up. Um, Ohio is going to Trump, but why is Biden going there today? Well, because they they think that they can keep Trump on defense. Okay. Ryan Kasson, appreciate your time, my friend. Thanks so much. ESPN 93.5. Bears lose to the Saints in overtime 26-23. Feel bad for the guy in Indiana that was playing the Fox Sports. They have a betting thing that essentially you can enter for free, but there's a million-dollar Sunday deal. Kid in Indiana. At 9 out of 10, the last one was the Bears had to win by 6 for $1 million. That was tough. That would be tough. Sorry about that kid in Indiana. (laughs) 743, uh, State Senator Chapin Rose is next. As you drive to your vacation destination, you are assured of a trip filled with great memories of your adventures. That's because you came to Midas for a road trip pre-check. Dave and his crew in Urbana inspected and repaired your vehicle in advance for brakes that stop, a transmission that keeps you going, shock absorbers and struts for a smooth ride, an engine tuned for your best mileage and power, and the air conditioning to keep it cool. Nothing beats a secure feeling you get from Midas Tire and Auto in Urbana. Enjoy the scenery and family time knowing that Midas is with you all the way. I'm Craig McDonald with the McDonald Group Real Estate Group. Home sellers want two things. They want to sell their house fast and sell for a lot of money. The good news is we do just that. Try the no risk list home selling system. We offer the right to sell the property yourself, no upfront fees, and if you're not happy with my performance, you can fire me at any time. We have been the number one sales volume team in Champaign-Urbana since 2010. I'm not bragging. I'm applying for a job because I want to be your realtor. Contact thenorisklist.com for more details, and thank you. This fall, our choice for Congress is clear. Lobbyist Betsy Londrigan is a Mike Madigan crony. In Springfield, Londrigan lined her pockets with Madigan's dirty insider deals. Then she took nearly 300 grand of Madigan's dirty money to buy a seat in Congress. Londrigan even took campaign cash from lobbyists under federal investigation for corruption and a rape cover-up. 
a Madigan machine politician, Betsy Londrigan would make Washington worse. There's a better choice. Our Congressman Rodney Davis is getting results for us. Rodney is taking on the big insurance companies to protect everyone with a pre-existing condition. And he's holding the big drug companies accountable to lower our prescription drug costs. And when the pandemic hit, Rodney secured lifeline loans for small businesses, helping to save over 2 million Illinois jobs. Rodney Davis is on our side. I'm Rodney Davis. I'm running for Congress, and I approve this message. Paid for by Rodney for Congress. Christmas time is here, and this is your year for a tree that brings cheer with a tree guarantee that keeps the glee. And it's all right here at Prairie Gardens. You'll find unique holiday decor and sparkling ornaments galore, handmade wreaths, candles, and more, and all at generous savings you'll adore. Because when you're at Prairie Gardens, you make your Christmas as unique as you. Extraordinary gardening, home decor, framing, and... Ho, ho, ho! It's Halloween Christmas! Game Day Spirit's huge fall sale is wrapping up, but there's still time for you to take advantage of some awesome deals on Illini gear. Over 100 styles have been marked down 40% off. Great brands such as Nike, Columbia, Champion, Tommy Bahama, and more, all 40% off. You won't find these deals anywhere else. Get a head start on some holiday shopping this year by visiting gamedayspirit.com and shopping their huge fall sale. Game Day Spirit, where Illini fans shop. Yeah, we need this. We need this kind of a bumper for State Senator Chapin Rose. Yeah. How are you, my friend? What's going on, people? How are you guys? Well, pretty good morning therapy today. Yeah, it's two hours of therapy every single morning, and so I'm hoping <laughs> that Facebook doesn't shut me down of the auspices of COVID stress therapy and peaceful protesting, which is kind of what we do. Okay, Chapin. What do we know? Are there extra ballots being sent out in Champaign County right. by the clerk? What's happening? Yeah, so uh, that is a fact. Uh, in fact, I have constituents who texted me pictures, uh, husband and wife, who got four ballots between them. Um, the interesting thing on that is uh, they were both, all four ballots were quote-unquote replacement ballots, which begs the question of where do the original ballots go? So you've got two people in Muhammad, Illinois, that, potentially had six ballots uh, out there, and two of them are missing at this point. Uh, on the other hand, we know uh, there's a student from Urbana who goes to school in Indiana, and she requests a ballot sent to her campus address in Indiana to vote, and one was sent there to Indiana, but one was also sent to her home in Urbana. So, um, yeah, I mean, that's, that's three people that we factually know got at least six ballots and maybe as many as eight, uh, depending on what happened with that couple of Muhammad's original ballots. And those are just three people. I, you know, I don't know. I, I, someone sent me a picture of one of the um, uh, residence halls that had ballots just sitting on top of the mailboxes, like just sitting there. Uh, so, yeah, the, the clerk's office, um, and I think, look, the State Board of Elections, sent him a fairly terse letter after the March primary documenting numerous infractions of the election code that occurred by, by Aaron Ammons and, and the Champaign County clerk. Are, are, um, are, are there people watching? I mean, do we have, don't, don't we have both sides of the aisle kind of observing on election day? Is that still normal? So there are poll watchers and you can imagine finding, finding poll watchers in COVID is it's always difficult, but finding them in COVID is even more difficult. But actually, uh, Stevie Diane, um, the Republicans had to sue the county clerk last week, mm -hmm. uh, and and the court ordered, as I understand it, I haven't read the order, but as I understand, the court ordered uh, Aaron to uh, to allow an equal number of Republican and Democrat judges to actually, um, you know, uh, oversee the process, and you know because because the Republicans weren't getting questions returned they weren't getting calls returned they weren't being told who those judges were going to be i mean just all kinds of problems and so you know a judge had to order him to do it so you know again i've asked the state board of um elections to to send someone who's an independent um oversight here and to observe um the conduct of his office but they wrote back over the weekend and said, sorry, they can't do that. Talk to the attorney general or, or the state's attorney. 
I, I mean, this is crazy. I mean, people should not be getting multiple ballots. And, and you know, Aaron's response to the to this question is, well, don't worry about it because if somebody tried to return two ballots, the computer will know it and we won't accept the second ballot. But this is the same computer system that's sending multiple ballots to people who only make one request. I mean, you know, it's like, well, we know the first part of this is screwed up, but never mind, the second part is going to be just fine. Yeah, I, I, I don't... get it. Yeah, no, listen, and, and, and it, 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 I, my instinct is to say uh, there's no foul play as opposed to look what happened to the treasurer's office. It, it Maybe they're just not real good at what they're doing right now. Well, look, I, I tend to agree with you that I think this is just incompetence and, frankly, with a high degree of arrogance associated with it. But, you know, when he got sued, um, and by the way, <laughs> when he got sued, his response was, well, this is just a bunch of Trump supporters. Okay. Well, no, actually, there's a Champaign County Circuit judge who's now ordered you to do something different, Aaron. And by the way, the guy that the, the mail that has that sent the three ballots, or I'm sorry, the four ballots to two people, that says Aaron Am- Ammons on the envelope. It doesn't say Donald Trump. It says Aaron Ammons. Well, so, you know, he's so quick to point fingers at everybody else and instead of just fix the problem. So, yeah, I mean, I tend to agree with you. This is probably gross incompetence more than outright malfeasance. Okay, so what, 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 hap- what, what happens, uh, I mean, if you have a Democratic this and a Democratic that and a Democratic that, what's the recourse? Yeah, so thankfully the court has ruled, as you point out, that we, the Republicans will now have the opportunity to have um, – judges present uh but again I, I think a lot of this comes down to after the election because one of the things i want to know i, I want to know how many i want someone to go get the invoices for ballots so we know how many were printed then get the number of requests and get the number you know that were returned and figure if this all squares up i mean it's, you know this isn't rocket science but it's not going to happen before tomorrow right and you know, but you ought to be able to go in, and um, you ought to be able to go in and look at the number of ballots that were printed and reconcile that against the number that were requested to be mailed out early, and figure out okay, this is how many he screwed up and sent out. All right, hey, let me before I let you go, Chapin. Let me ask you about the restaurants and bars. Uh, pretty much now, I think. Uh, I'm calling them districts because it aligns with Hunger Games, which is what it feels like right now. So District 6 is us. We're out. Uh, District 2 apparently now is going to be shut down Wednesday. Is there any chance that the restaurant and bars can do anything to stop the governor? I think cool. In any way, the, the General Assembly speaker and Senate president said they're not going to call us back anytime soon to deal with this man. I, you know, look, Stevie, I... I attempted just to ask a single question the other day uh, when when he when they called to tell us this was going to happen our region and they cut me off and hung off. I couldn't even ask a question. Um, and I, I think the courts are going to have to issue some kind of restraining order. But let me let me just say this to you: rather than all this stuff, he would be far better off getting testing, rapid testing, out to you know our senior centers, our, our congregate work sites. You know, places where this is likely to spread quickly, you know, and the U of I has kind of shown the way here. When you test every, you know, 20 percent of the county every other day, you can kind of keep it down in the county. And this is another thing for those who live in Champaign. The Champaign rate isn't 8 percent. It's not anywhere near 8 percent. But his 8 percent figure is based on such widely varied inputs. I mean, you get 10 people get tested in this county, 100 get tested in that county. And then 10,000 get tested in Champaign County. Well, those are not, that, that's not a scientifically valid sample because you don't have any uniformity to the input of where these tests are being collected and how many people are taking them. Um, you know, put differently, if you've got to drive 45 minutes each way to get tested and then sit in line for an hour, how many people are going to go do that? Well, only people who think they're sick, right? Yep. So Cumberland County, Neoga, you got to drive 30, 40 minutes to find a test. Hmm. So how many people, what do you think Cumberland County's positivity rate is? It's off the charts. But that's because of the 20 people who drove to get tested that day, you know, five of them tested positive. Well, 
in Champaign County, you're like, oh, look at us. We're at 2%. Well, if one of your 2%, just one of your 2% is in Champaign County. Like, I keep wondering, like, seven months later, why isn't this guy deploying rapid testing to nursing homes, to factories? I mean, if you went to Illinois and tested Caterpillar, ADM, and Tate and Lyle, you would from county back substantially. Substantially. I mean, it would, it would have huge benefits across the whole region. And, you know, same thing in Mattoon at, at Calcan or, or Eastern. I mean, Eastern doesn't have the testing capacity that the U of I does. Frankly, none of our universities have that testing capacity. But why, you know, our K-12 system, Stevie, if you tested every school kid in Illinois every three days, like the U of I is doing, you wouldn't have a problem right now. So rather than take these blunt, edge, you know, uh, uh, sledgehammers to try to knock back the positivity rate, do what you were supposed to do seven months ago, use the half a billion dollars the federal government gave you, uh, the federal taxpayers' money, get the damn testing to where it counts, and let's knock this back smartly, smartly, not, not destroy the livelihoods of restaurant owners and the employees that work in them. I mean, it's like... It somehow it's like, yeah, you know what? Because um, you can't put food on your kid's table because you lost your job at the restaurant. Somehow that doesn't have its own set of health issues. What the health issues? No. Hey, I had Steve Moore on, U of I guy, advisor to the president, economist Steve Moore. Stephen was on uh, Friday. He said that if the fair tax gets passed, a million people will leave the state of Illinois. Chapin, you see that? What's that? Yeah. Steve Moore. And I think he's generally right. I don't know if Connection breaking up. Chapin. No, I'm sorry. That's all right. Last question. What happens tomorrow with the president? Well, I think I think Trump's going to pull it out, but that I've only thought that for the last day. So. Okay. <laughs> all right. Well, how, how, the call. how do people connect with you and get to your office if they have a question? Yeah, senchapinrose.com, senator, S-E-N-J-J-P-I-N-R-O-S-E.com. If you announce for governor, will you let me know first? There you go. <laughs> Hilarious. Yeah, not in this state, <laughs> but thank you very much. All right, buddy. Thank you. It's Senator Chapin Rose on the road going somewhere. Eric Meyer, the owner of Pia's and Bentley's, will be up next hour. We also have our first responder of the month will feature... Yeah, Kyle I, Hayden is coming in. Yep, and I have something about Twitter and Facebook I want to touch on. Okay. Maybe before we get uh, our first responder of the month on. Sounds good. A little more on the vote tomorrow. Uh, it's here, finally. And again, uh, I have no idea what's going to happen. I, I have an inkling that Trump's momentum and the silent Trump voter, the one that won't talk to pollsters, will come out in droves. It feels like that, but I have no idea. I just know this is 2020. And this has been the longest decade ever. The news will be next. One more hour of therapy. Thank you for joining us. While this COVID crisis may have turned your world upside down, imagine what our friends on the street have had to deal with. Rob Dahlhouse here, Executive Director at CU at Home. I've heard these words from our friends on the street. How am I supposed to shelter in place when I have no place to shelter? Well, friend, because of your generous support, we were able to keep the men's and women's emergency shelters open and will continue to operate them year-round. For the first time in nearly 20 years, our community has year-round shelter once again. Join our Hope Givers monthly giving team. Please visit cuathome.us click the red donate button and join the team today when your car breaks down you realize just how much you need it and when it breaks down Beaumont Alignment Plus steps up for routine maintenance like brakes oil changes tune-ups batteries and tires you can count on Beaumont Alignment Plus bigger issues including alignment suspension work starters alternators transmission requires specialists so get to know Beaumont Alignment Plus for your vehicle repairs with locations on Bloomington Road and Denison Drive in Champaign you're never far from the help you need it's good to know the quality services still affordable at Beaumont Alignment Plus. 
SJ Broadcasting is looking for organizations that regularly distribute information regarding employment opportunities to job applicants or have job applicants to refer. If your organization would like to receive notification of job vacancies at our stations, please notify Human Relations at 2702 Boulder, Urbana, Illinois, 61802, or email hr at sjbroadcasting.com or by phone at 217-367-1195. SJ Broadcasting is an equal opportunity employer, encouraging minorities and females to apply. You're listening to WSJK ESPN 93.5 Tuscola Champaign-Urbana, your home for the St. Louis Cardinals. We need you to get out and vote. I'm Dave Anthony, Fox News. President Trump just tweeted that to people in some battleground states where early voting ends today. Of course, the election is tomorrow. Nearly 94 million Americans have already voted. I'm not just running against Joe Biden. I'm running against the left-wing mob. Truth is, to beat the virus, we first got to beat Donald Trump. Joe Biden rallied in Philadelphia, and the Democratic nominee will be in Pennsylvania again today. So will his running mate, Senator Kamala Harris, the coronavirus, Biden's big issue. Our frontline health care workers have given all their best to this virus. Everything to beat it. Many of them died. We have a president who's given up. Now, the president will also go to Pennsylvania today and North Carolina and Wisconsin and wrap up his campaigning in Michigan. His final rally in a five-state swing on Sunday bled into early this morning, and the crowd chanted, Fire Fauci! And the president responded, Don't tell anybody, but let me wait till a little bit after the election. And he keeps insisting we're rounding the corner to ending the pandemic. Dr. Anthony Fauci disagrees. Fox's Evan Brown, live in Broward County, Florida. Now, Dave, Dr. Fauci says the country is in for a whole lot of hurt on the coronavirus front, telling the Washington Post all the stars are aligned in the wrong places as we head indoors during the colder weather. The warning comes as 31 states see record numbers of infections in October, 60 percent more than in September. Florida specifically now sees its positivity rate above 6 percent again. The United States has seen more than 9.2 million cases, Dave. Uh, but Italy's premier is putting in more restrictions, closing museums and malls on the weekends, limiting travel. Germany closed bars and theaters and restaurants today. France in the middle of a new lockdown. And Britain is ready to expand its shutdowns on Thursday with record COVID cases across Europe. America's listening to Fox News. At Fisher Investments, we do things differently. And other money managers don't understand why. Because our way works great for us. But it may not work for your clients. That's why Fisher Investments is a fiduciary obligated to put clients first. It's the highest standard for a financial advisor. So what do you provide? Cookie cutter portfolios like the rest of us? No cookie cutter portfolios here. Fisher Investments tailors portfolios to meet each client's goals and needs. But you do sell investments that earn you high commissions, right? And make commissions when you make trades for your clients? No. Fisher Investments doesn't sell any commission investment products, and we never earn commissions on trades. So what's in it for you? Fisher Investments fees are structured so we do better when our clients do better. When it comes to helping clients achieve a comfortable retirement, we're clearly different. Visit FisherInvestments.com to find out why investors like you switch to us. Fisher Investments, clearly different money management. Investments in securities involve the risk of loss. There are several states that are both key to the presidential race and if Democrats can win control of the Senate. Georgia, Iowa, North Carolina, Maine, and also Arizona. It's not just that the presidential race in Arizona is tight, with Democratic nominee Joe Biden and President Trump tied in the polls. It's that in 2018, Democrat Kirsten Sinema won an Arizona Senate seat, beating former Air Force Colonel Martha McSally, who was then appointed to fill the late Senator John McCain's seat. Now McSally's up against Democrat astronaut Mark Kelly, who is leading her by a few points in the polls. That's Fox's Jessica Rosenthal. One of the biggest names in Hollywood has lost a court fight against a British tabloid. Johnny Depp defeated in a libel case against a British newspaper that called him a wife beater. A judge says the publishers of The Sun showed that what they wrote was substantially true. The ruling comes after a highly personal trial in which Depp and his former wife, fellow actor Amber Heard, gave graphic testimony accusing each other of violence. Depp's lawyers say the ruling is bewildering and that they'll appeal. The Sun calls it a victory for press freedom.
In London, Simon Owen, Fox News. There still aren't a lot of people going to the movies in this crisis. Despite the title, Come Play, People Didn't, the PG-13 horror film where a monster named Larry manifests itself through smartphones and mobile devices, earning just more than $3 million, despite showing on more than 2,100 screens. Nonetheless, it was enough to lead the sleepy box office charts in pandemic times. Honest Thief slips to second place, adding $1.3 million to its four-week total of more than $9.5 million. The war with Grandpa drops from second, holding on to third, with another million dollars in sales for a gross of more than $11 million in four weeks. Ann Carrick, Fox News. On Wall Street, a rebound may be in store after selling last week that dragged the Dow down last month. Dow futures up more than 300 points. I'm Dave Anthony, and this is Fox News. Yeah, you're enjoying lower gases. Oil has taken a hit because of coronavirus and the spread that use is projected to be down, so you can get it under 2 bucks a gallon uh -huh, right now. I've seen that. Here's your ESPN 93.5 three-day forecast from the National Weather Service. Up to 53, partly cloudy, breezy, winds up to 22 miles per hour, 36 are low tonight. Boy, it was windy yesterday, yep, huh? Yep. Sunny tomorrow with a high 67, low 44, up to 71, mostly sunny on Wednesday. Right now, the temperature's at 29 on ESPN 93.5. Uh, as I said, I don't know what's going to happen with the election, but I, Stevie J, am very um, cautiously optimistic Donald Trump's going to be reelected. And some of the things that have come out on the vice president, Joe Biden, here in the last few weeks, some of his problems that he has cognitively, I mean, it's, it's stunning that uh, he could be elected because, you know, Kamala Harris, the most liberal politician in Washington on the Democratic side, she's more liberal in her voting record than uh, Bernie Sanders. Pretty amazing. We'll see what happens, but I follow Trafalgar Group, and I think they're the, they're the uh, polling group that got it right in 16, and we're the best uh, polling group in 18. Uh, they, they have uh, Donald Trump uh, winning in some of these states that real clear politics does not. And so I really don't know what to believe because 16 was such a miss if the polling groups miss again, I, I don't know how you could ever trust them again. All right, 806, happy to welcome to our program, Jack Blount, technology analyst, CEO of In... What is it called? CEO of what? Intrusion. Intrusion and leader in the fast-changing world of technology for more than three decades. The worst thing that has happened for me in this entire cycle is the protection of Joe Biden and the... Censuring of Twitter and Facebook. That's dangerous to me, Jack. You're absolutely right. You should be concerned. It is dangerous to all of us. What's the future? I mean, how, how can this be where they censure uh, what they want me to see? They should be a platform that allows me to read and get informed versus decide what they allow. Well, Congress allowed this when they set up Section 230 of the Communications Decency Act. It has to be repealed. Trump's been calling for it to be repealed. It allows Twitter and Facebook and Google and these multi-billionaire corporations to filter whatever they want, which allows them to contribute, dis distribute, and, and limit what information is available on the Internet to get their message out. That They should be able to be sued like any other business, and they should be br held accountable or the way they're manipulating the public. Okay, well, will that happen if Donald Trump wins? If Donald Trump doesn't win, forget about it. Absolutely. If Donald Trump wins, he will get this repealed. If he doesn't win, forget about it. It'll get a lot worse fast. You're right. Okay, so then what's the future if, if you're going to censure me? I think Facebook has played around with my live feed because of things I've said here. That's just scary to me. It really is. Well, it should be scary. And again, if, if Trump doesn't get elected, it'll get a whole lot worse, a whole lot faster until Americans as a whole start feeling the pain and stop using Twitter and Facebook and these other manipulative companies and hold them accountable by not doing business with them. Why isn't something out there that is well known available as an alternative? I know there are other platforms. But how come they can't see the light of day? Are they being suppressed by a Google Absolutely. Again, these are mega, mega corporations. The money and power they have to buy up companies and close them down just because they don't like what they're doing, to shut them out of the market. They have so many avenues available to them because of the absolute insane wealth that they have. They are controlling what we read and hear and see. What happens, Jack Blount? What happens? Well, I, I think it's a pretty scary place if Trump does not get elected. Uh, 
even if he does get elected, if he doesn't get the House, he will still be held back by the things he wants to do to make America strong again. But we're a lot better than we were four years ago. I believe he's going to win, and I believe we got a chance to stop this insanity. Jack Blount, CEO of Intrusion, leader in the fast-changing world of technology. How do people connect with you? Jack at Intrusion.com. Thanks for your time. Appreciate it. Thank you. Have a nice day. You as well. 809 ESPN 93.5. Well, that's that's just to me. If you're going to start censoring America yeah. with the free speech, I, I think that is extraordinarily dangerous for the future of America. Mm -hmm. Okay, happy time. Now we feature our first responder of the month, brought to you by Inglebrick Grills. Good, good luck getting your hands on one of those because... Um, it's a hot item, literally. Well, I mean, you got Bobby <laughs> Flay that uses his grill. you got uh, Barack Obama calling, uh, the White House calling, Chris Inglebrick up in Paxton, Illinois, yeah. making the best grill in the world. Way to go, Chris. We're proud of you. Inglebrick Grill sponsors our first responder of the month. This month, Kyle Hayden. Who'd rather be married? Kyle, how are you? Fantastic, thank you. What do you do? Well, I'm the assistant chief at the Tolono Fire Protection District. Uh, we provide EMS coverage for the Tolono area, as well as fire protection. How much does that pay? Nothing. We're all volunteers. <sighs> Why do you do it, Kyle? Been around it my entire life. My dad was in it when he turned 18 and basically been raised around it. Um, I love helping people, and if you love to help people... Everybody, every department in Champaign County that's volunteer could use your help right now. So if I keel over in the studio, you're qualified to bring me back? Absolutely. I'm an EMT as well. So. Excellent. Wonderful. So an advanced EMT and been doing EMS for 13 years. Describe that, Kyle. It's definitely something that's different than most other jobs because you never know what you're going to go into every day to work. Um, I worked full-time in EMS for about six years, and now I've worked. Um, I don't do EMS full-time anymore. But with the fire department, we respond alongside the ambulance to help them. So I still do that whenever we get called. I've never had a volunteer in here in a small community like this. Kyle, our first responder of the month, Kyle Hayden. So what happens? You're over working whatever you do. What do you do on the other side? I mean, what do you? Work? I work for the city of Champaign. Okay, you work for the city of Champaign. The bell goes off, and you're in Champaign. How does that work? I normally wouldn't go. Um, that's why we have people that might be in might be in town or. Um, we might have to call for help from other departments like Pasodum, Savoy, Sidoris, Philo. We rely on each other a lot. Okay, so the volunteer guys kind of work together. Correct. Okay, Bob, can you get over to here because I'm here and I'm 15 minutes away kind of thing. Correct. Yeah. What if you're in Tolono, the bell rings, what's the process? We go to the fire station. Um, if it's a medical call, we get in the truck and go. If not, if it's a fire-related call, we'll put on our turnout gear and and go help the person or, you know, go put the fire out, whatever needs to be done. You ever apprehensive as to what you're going to? Yeah, sometimes. I mean, there's there's some of those calls that we, alongside of our partners in law enforcement, we have to go to, um, as well as anything else that we, you know, might need help with. You know, if we get a fire, we get multiple fire departments off the bat. It's not just Tolona. You're getting Pasodum, Tuscola, Savoy, and an ambulance as well. So it's just one of those things, whenever you go to certain calls, it depends on what we're going to be doing when we get there. I said you'd rather be married. You guys had to postpone your wedding because of COVID? Yeah. Yes. Oh, supposed man. to get married in June, and that kind of got kiboshed. So. so June 2021 at this point. Yeah. Yep. And okay. Send invites out to the all Stevie J radio listeners. Is that what I understand? <laughs> there you <For> go. Sure. <laughs> all right. So we'll tell people again why you do it. Well, I mean, there must be I mean, I, you, this passion to help. Absolutely. I love helping people. And when you live in a small town, people don't understand what it's like until that pager goes off. Um Waiting that, you know, 5, 10, 15 minutes sometimes if you didn't have a fire department in town to have somebody show up to help you. Um, whenever you go into different communities, each community is different. They might have people that are there full time, like Champaign and Urbana. But when you're in Tolono, we're it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mean, they're waiting on us to show up to help you. When so. it comes to recruitment and retention of members, talk about that aspect of your job. That is very tough. This time, especially during the coronavirus, everybody's busier than they were 15, 20 years ago. So if you live in a small town and have any inkling of wanting to help somebody to be an EMT, to be a firefighter, go talk to your volunteer fire department. This is my plea to you today. There are a lot of fire departments out there that need help. We can't do it on our own. 
towns are getting, you know, people don't work in town anymore. So if you, you know, live in town and work in town, that's even better. So you have to be a little bit on the physically fit side. I'm sure there's some testing that you have to do. Uh, Describe that, Kyle Hayden. The biggest thing that we like to do is we run them through what we call a probationary program. So basically they go through and they learn how to be a firefighter. They're taught how to be safe. Um, Because obviously firefighting is a very dangerous Mm -hmm. job. Um, So we go through lots of different ways of of testing them through that to get them to the point of, you know, that they can be a crew member and and be the full-fledged firefighter that we want them to be. God bless you, Kyle Hayden, because this is a different level when when it's all for free. I mean, that's a whole different level. It's one thing to have a career and a job and you're paying the mortgage and all that. You're doing it out of the kindness of your heart and the fact you want to help. Absolutely. And I think when it comes to it, most volunteers are that way. We hate whenever, you know, there's nobody around to help. Because sometimes, unfortunately, in small towns, that happens. It has to go to the next fire department, for instance. But we, we all love helping people. It's why we get into it. Kyle Hayden, ladies and gentlemen, the first responder of the month. He's a volunteer at Tolono, the fire department. He's an EMT, advanced EMT. He's taking mm-hmm. a, lot of, a lot of hours on his own time, on his own dime. Uh, we really appreciate you coming in, and you're going to be our featured guy here for the month of whatever it is. November. November. <laughs> I, I'm still waiting on fireworks, dude. I'm, right, I, I get it. My, my timing is off. That's why I'm going to put Christmas up really soon. That's right. <laughs> uh, Kyle Hayden, you the man. Thank you very much. Thank you. ESPN 93.5. Uh, quick check of sports headlines, maybe. Here we go. Diane Ducey has that. NFL teams that we've all loved in our area. New Orleans beat the Bears 26-23 in overtime. Drew Brees performed as well as he usually does. And we had Minnesota over Green Bay 28-22. And uh, Indianapolis Colts over Detroit 41-21. And tonight we'll have Tampa Bay and the New York Giants in action at 7. By the way, Pittsburgh beating Baltimore 28-24 yesterday. Steelers are 7-0 and and one of the, or the only NFL team to be uh, undefeated at this point. We had Purdue beating the Illini 31-24 yesterday. They'll host Minnesota at 2.30 on Saturday. Clemson at number one, Alabama two, Ohio State at three. When it comes to Big Ten teams, Wisconsin. At number 10, even though they didn't even play, we also had uh, Indiana, who hasn't been in the, to this high as 13 in the polls since 87, and Michigan at 23, even though Michigan State beat Michigan 27-24 over the weekend. Well, with the holidays upon us, it's easy to forego financial plans, but now's the time to organize and plan for the coming year. Here are a few issues to consider from the experienced professionals at Busey Wealth Management. First of all, tax planning. You can maximize your tax deductions across the board, plan your tax strategy for the coming year. Charitable contributions. Charitable contributions you can give, what you give can benefit your overall financial plan. College planning, you have a range of opportunities to save for your kids and grandchildren. 529 plans, how about retirement planning? Evaluate when you'll be able to retire. Work with your financial advisor to align your spending, saving, and investment strategy. And wealth transfer. Effective estate planning can help preserve your assets, reduce taxes paid by uh, your heirs, and unlock opportunities for future generations. Start your year-end planning today with the experienced professionals at Busey Wealth Management to get and stay financially fit through next year and beyond. Call 800-67-BUSEY or visit Busey.com. Investment products and services are not FDIC insured, may lose value, no bank guarantee. All right, that's your friends from Busey. All right, we're going to be back. Um, Eric Meyer is coming up. Okay, we're going to be yeah. talking with Eric a little bit about uh, the closings of the, well, he owns Pia's and then Bentley's Bar, and both shut now for indoor seating. They're still doing carryout, so we're back to, to that point. This could be devastating for restaurants in Illinois. The Illinois Restaurants Association uh, says thousands and thousands of restaurants could go out of business. Do we need to do this? Did we need to do this? 1.5% is essentially the spread from restaurants and bars, according to the latest stats. Uh, Why couldn't we mitigate and do a better? I mean, they've got plexiglass for Pete's sakes. Mm -hmm. I don't think that's causing the spread of this. It's just um, highly contagious, and we're, we're dealing with it, but we're trying not to close 
people down. Anyway, that's next. I'm Kurt Bloomstrand, one of the emergency medicine doctors for OSF Healthcare, and I also serve as the EMS medical director for OSF Healthcare in the Central Illinois region. So my bread and butter is emergencies. So everything we do is emergencies, and uh, there's a lot of new things that are happening within our emergency department to keep patients and uh, visitors safe. And so if you come to our emergency department, you're first and foremost going to be screened, and we're asking general screening questions related to the COVID-19 symptoms that we know, and we're also taking your temperature. And so those patients and or visitors that uh, do screen positive positive for potential COVID-19, we are isolating them and keeping them separate from uh, the rest of the general patients and population within our hospital to try to keep you as safe as possible during this COVID-19 pandemic. We have really ramped up our staff, particularly in cleaning. We are cleaning every inch of the hospital all the time, it seems. So we're following the CDC guidelines and making sure that we're trying to do this screening as quick as possible. You know, it is definitely going to be different than uh, what you might be used to previously, but it's all in the interest of safety. For all of your health care needs, visit OSF healthcare.org. By the way, 59 days until 2021. 59 days. 24 days till Thanksgiving, huh? 820. I'm Elizabeth McDonald, and this is the Fox Business Report. Norwegian Cruise Line Holdings is suspending its sailings through the end of the year. The action includes Norwegian, Oceana, and Regent Seven Seas brands. Norwegian says it will continue to work with global environment and public health authorities and its healthy sail advisors. Guests with bookings are asked to contact their travel advisor or the cruise line for more information. Wingstop's business is still growing as people continue to order food to eat at home. It's earnings in the summer quarter were stronger than a year ago. Overall sales were up 25%. Online sales rose more than 60%. Walmart is converting four stores into e-commerce labs. The first two sites are near its headquarters in Bentonville, Arkansas. The locations will serve both in-store and digital shoppers. That's your Fox Business Report. I'm Ginny Cosola. Invested in you. News Radio On Demand on the Fox News app. Download the app and just click listen. Plus, when you swipe left, you can listen to your favorite Fox News talk shows live. Wow, that's huge. Swipe right for the latest Fox News Radio newscasts on demand. Serious questions must be answered. I'm Dave Anthony. That's not all. Hear your favorite podcasts from Dana Perino, Bill Hammer, Martha McCallum, Brett Baer, and many more. Fox News Radio on the Fox News app. Download it today. America's listening to Fox News. This is Eric Bolin with Provident Financial Group. Finding your way to retirement may feel a bit like working your way through a maze. Without a guide, it's hard to see if you're headed in the right direction. We can offer guidance along the way to help you see the bigger picture and make sound financial decisions. Contact us today at 3017 Village Office Place in Champaign. Call 217-366-3456 or find us online at ProvidentFinancialGroupLLC.com. Securities and advisory services offered through Commonwealth Financial Network. Member FINRA SIPC, a registered investment advisor. You have money laying all around your house. You just don't know it. And no, I don't mean selling your great-grandma's good china. I mean all the old metal items you don't want to use or get rid of. Don't pay someone to haul it away. Bring it into Max Twin City Recycling and get paid to have it taken off your hands. They love new customers and are more than willing to walk you through their process step-by-step. Step. Come check them out at 2808 North Lincoln Avenue in Urbana. Starting it over is what we do at Max Twin City Recycling. We're very happy to welcome our law enforcement officials of the month from the Urbana Police Department. It's Michelle Robinson. Well, right now I'm at the Urbana Middle School, and my number one goal is to bridge that gap between police and the community. And where we start is with the next generation. I feel with everything that's going on in the nation today that that's probably the number one place that Officer Burnett and I need to be in is the schools, because that's where we're going to start. We've got to stop what's going on and kind of build that gap between us and the community because of the the trust they have in me and because of the relationships I've built we've been able to get some guns out of youth's hands it's about relationships at mm, that level yes. where they should not fear you they should respect but you need to make eye contact and I bet a lot of kids at the middle school level Michelle Robinson are probably surprised you're pretty nice yeah <laughs> I'm, I'm doing my dream job right now this is why I came into policing. In the car on the road to Chicago, he is the owner of Pia's and Bentley's. Um, it's Eric Meyer. How are you, Eric? Doing fine. Evie, good to 
good to hear both you and Diane this morning. Thank you. Okay, so we're shut here in District 6. I refuse to call them regions. This is a reference to Hunger Games, which is what this all feels like. Mm -hmm. So District 6, we're shut in restaurants and bars. What does that mean to your industry, Eric, the second time through? It's a devastating blow. There's no PPP out there to to help us at this point. The governor uh, keeps uh, broadcasting the, quote, big grants that are out there uh, coming from the state of Illinois. But I was in a rally at Springfield on uh, uh, on Friday, and uh, we asked for a show of hands of how many of the 100 licensees out there had uh, received a big grant and not one raised their hand. So uh, these grants are, are are not the commonplace, but they are great rhetoric. According to the governor, it's all Trump's fault. How does that make you feel? <laughs> I think it's uh, ridiculous to call it anyone's fault. We're dealing with a worldwide pandemic, uh, and we've got to deal with it the best we can. But, you know, closing uh, establishments uh, and, and, and restricting them to no indoor service is not really going to solve the issue. You're going to watch this thing continue to grow because the bars and the restaurants have not been proven to be the source um, of the main part of this threat. I mean, it, it, the focal points have, uh, have focused really on um, uh, the uh, long care centers, uh, manufacturing association, uh, food food uh, production lines. All of those represent for represent 90 percent of all the cases associated with these outbreaks. Uh, and, and, of course, I mean, and I, I need to add in private uh, gatherings. It, it's not the bars and restaurants that are part of this spread. Tell me why, and, and I guess, firstly, are the gambling places still allowed, the Lululemons or whatever the heck they're called, the Dotties, are they still open? Well, all licensed establishments that have a gaming license, we are still allowed to operate uh, those machines. Here's how it works. If you have six VGTs, you are allowed to have six people in your establishment to play those VGTs. You cannot serve them any drinks. You cannot serve them any food. They cannot consume any product. They have to just sit in front of the machine with a mask on. And, of course, most of you know there is a plexiglass sheet in between each one of those machines. Now, i will probably ask the big question is, what makes that any difference than sitting in booths where there's plexiglass up and you're sitting with your party to eat? Absolutely, probably nothing. Yeah, it's so so ridiculous. By the way, I wear Lululemon. It's like Lilies and Dotties and all these names. Anyway, it's Eric Meyer, the owner of Pia's and Bentley's. Is there any recourse, Eric? Can you sue? Can you do anything to stop the governor? Well, I'm on my way to Chicago right now, meeting with several attorneys with uh, – uh, the director of our state liquor association, the IOBA, and we are doing exactly that. We are exploring and reviewing the data that uh, the attorneys are going to present today, and I would anticipate that a, file, a lawsuit will be filed on behalf of the licensees in the state of Illinois uh, before this week is done. Um, you know, I hate to say that so much of this has turned into politics, but there have been multiple information rallies with licensees across the state of Illinois. And let's face it, we've got dem- Democratic owners, Republican owners. We have Democratic employees, Republican employees. But you know, not one Democrat at, from the legislators has showed up at any one of these informational rallies. Not one. It's all our Republicans that have been showing up. It really makes you wonder what's truly behind all this and why— um, and why this has become so political. It's almost as if our Democratic legislators are absolutely fearful to go up against uh, Governor Pritzker. They just really don't want to touch it. We had a text in, Eric, that says, I've seen several businesses in the area openly saying they will not be complying with the shutdown orders. I don't recall seeing this much defiance earlier in the year. It can't be an easy decision for state leaders to decide to order all of these small businesses to shut down, but it's got to make it easier knowing that your own livelihood is not at stake. Your reaction? Well, (laughs) I feel for those licenses because I'm, I'm in the same position. Uh, we're fortunate enough to have uh, outdoor tents at both of my locations, so we're able to serve outdoors. 
But let me tell you, how many people do you think are sitting outside in, uh, you know, as he is in the tent right now at mm-hmm. 28 degrees? A big fat zero. I mean, even with heaters on and what have you, it's just not conducive right now for outdoor service. And, and there's going to be a lot of people that are going to elect not to participate in outdoor service in these temperatures. So we're at a really tough time in the year, a time when most of us thought we would be reopening and expanding indoor service, and yet it's the complete reverse. It's a shutdown. If Julia Reitz came out and said, I'm not prosecuting anybody, would that mean that the county would move forward? Um, in Champaign County, probably will because they're relatively aggressive. You know, frankly, our county has done a fantastic job of addressing uh, the, the the COVID issues, um, the, the mask compliance, social distancing compliance is extremely high in Champaign County. That's not the case in other counties as we travel around the state of Illinois. But you brought up the comment about defiance against the order. We have certain groups of licensees in other counties down south right now that have elected to completely defy it as a group. And I, I mean hundreds of licensees. And the state's attorney, the sheriff, and the police departments in those areas have elected not to pursue um, enforcing these laws against them. Um, it's a choice that they made among their areas. And this is why the governor has stepped up uh, bringing the, the state police involved. But I can tell you the state police, the ones that I've talked to, they're not very excited about participating in this either, but they've been ordered to do so. Um, it's, I think for a licensee that has a liquor license and a gaming license, um, it's, a, it's a more difficult decision to make because those licenses can be revoked. Mm-hmm. Um, but for those that have merely a food license and are operating uh, in a county where the health department does not want to pursue this, uh, they're probably... Uh, can open it a, a far less of a risk. Well, and again, it depends who's controlling your county. In Champaign County, we're controlled pretty much by Democrats, so they're probably going to follow JB and probably have. And if you can lose your liquor license, then you're pretty much done anyway, right? It, yeah, exactly. That would be very devastating. And and you know, let's let's face it, there is a rule on the book that if you defy a public health order, and that's what we're currently under, um, that can be punishable as a misdemeanor. Uh, so it is an issue. There is a process, a hearing process and things of that nature. Um, there are licensees in Champaign-Urbana right now uh, that have already announced they are going to defy the order and they're going to, you know, force it through the court system and see what happens. So I think we're going to see a lot of that in and around the state. I think one of the things that I'm struggling with more than anything is this discrepancy in testing data and how it's being reported. For an example, we know that there's problems. When the state announces that their statewide average is 7.3, but there isn't one region um, that is below 8%, how can you come up with a with a 7.3% state average? Yeah. It, it's, it's mathematically impossible. We, we don't use the U of I testing in some things. We don't use CVS testing in others. I mean, the state... The governor keeps saying he's going to come out with new testing data in with his, you know, his reporting metrics. That's, we've heard that for two weeks and nothing, nothing on contact tracing. I don't know where all these billions of dollars that we've been given to the state of Illinois are going when you'd think that we would have this data available. And just imagine the mess today with all the employees that are going to be filing unemployment insurance today. And they won't even be able to get a phone call answered. Unbelievable. Just, Unbelievable. Yep. Well, I mean, we're, out, we're really in risk. I think the Illinois Restaurant Association said there's going to be thousands of restaurants that are potentially going to have to close. Right. Is that true? Yeah. We estimate uh, in the state between bars and restaurants that we could lose up to 20% or more of all of our establishments. That would be equivalent to 5,000 restaurants and almost 600,000 employees being displaced. Mm. that's pretty serious. That's what we're up against. And that's why you have licensees taking the chances that you've heard to defy these orders. I understand when they're coming. When you you put all your life savings into a business, that is your retirement. That's everything. And you're watching the governor take it away. That's pretty hard to deal with. 
Eric Meyer, Godspeed. Let us know. Give us updates. We'll be happy to put you on any time, my friend. God bless you both. Take care, Eric. Eric Meyer on his way to Chicago to try and sue the governor. Mm -hmm. ESPN 93.5. News. I'm Chris Foster. Heading into Election Day, President Trump holds five more campaign rallies in four states. Joe Biden campaigns in Cleveland, then holds three events in and around Pittsburgh. Trump supporters in Opelika, Florida chant, fire Fauci. Dr. Anthony Fauci on the White House Coronavirus Task Force. He's become more publicly critical of the White House coronavirus response. The president responds. Don't tell anybody, but let me wait till a little bit after the election. Break. Joe Biden says his coronavirus plan goes into effect on day one if he's elected. Masking, social distancing, testing, tracing, a plan for full and fair and free distribution of therapeutics, vaccines, when we get one. Biden there in Philadelphia, where the mayor, Jim Kenney, wants people to know it could take several days after Election Day tomorrow to have all the mail-in ballots counted, and Pennsylvania could be a key state if the race is close. America's listening to Fox News. Old Man Winter will be here before you know it. Frozen and leaking pipes are two reasons to call ServPro. Immediate action is crucial with water damage, and the ServPro professionals respond quickly and utilize their advanced equipment and techniques. ServPro's action to your problem? Inspect water damage, extract water, dry and dehumidify, and clean and sanitize, restoring it like it never even happened. Call 217-355-0077. ServPro, the number one choice in the area for restoration problems. Franchise is independently owned and operated. Well, the weather looks good. If Eric wants to do outdoor seating, it's going to be nice this week, so that's good. And Larry says, I'd love to know what restaurants are defying the order. I want to spend my money there. I see. Hmm. You'll have to handle that. Uh, you know, you're I not going to I don't have a say, list. Yeah, and I'm not going to say it because that attracts attention to them um, that could be really negative. bring it down yeah on that's too. right yeah. yeah but you can uh message us and i can message you back of the people that i know <laughs> yep. uh high 53 low 36 67 with sunshine again tomorrow down to 44 71 midweek we're teetering around 70 for the end of the weekend actually the temperature's currently at 34 on espn 93.5 theme song of the morning the political strategist. Andrea, how are you? Good. Great to be with you this morning. Good to have you on. All right. Crunch time. Um, 2016, it was all over. Hillary was going to win. It's done. 2020, Joe Biden's got it. It's over. It's done. Who am I to believe? <laughs> well, I think if, if we know anything, it's that we don't know until the election is over and the votes have been counted. It's amazing to see that already 93 million Americans have early voted as of yesterday afternoon. And based on the Trump rallies, they're not all Democrat. I mean, this early voting, a lot of Republicans feel just as passionate, if not more. And I've not, I've not met a Joe Biden supporter. All I've met are Trump haters. That's all I've got. Th that's right. I mean, the enthusiasm for the Trump campaign is overwhelming. And as you said, it's very evident by the size of the rallies and the turnout. Uh, look at what happened just uh, the other day in Pennsylvania with miles and miles and miles of cars. People turned out uh, to show their support for Trump. So it will be interesting to see if all of that is reflected in, in the vote. Okay. Any predictions? No, I think if we learned anything from 2016, it's that it's very difficult to make a prediction. It's, it's hard to trust the polls. Uh, but the enthusiasm, I would say, among Trump supporters is, is very, very high. And I, I wouldn't be surprised if we see a Trump victory. But I will say that uh, you, you never know until Election Day happens and those votes are counted. Well, 2020 has been the longest decade ever, Audrea, so whatever. It's a long year, man. Andrea Taylor <laughs> Decker, how do people connect with you? Yeah, they can connect with me at Audrea underscore Taylor on Twitter. Would love to connect with people there uh, for sure. And, uh, I read in Trafalgar Group that the young voter is breaking to Trump because they don't want any more shutdowns. I wonder if that'll be true. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 
Circle survey found that 79% of young people say that COVID helps them realize that politics impacts their every day. So I do think COVID-19 is going to be a leading issue and a leader, leading factor for people to vote. And it's not just at the federal level. It's also at the state and the local level, realizing that our vote really does matter. And, and local and state officials and federal officials all create policy that directly impacts our lives. Andrea, thanks for your time. Appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me on. 839. So many wacky phones. I, I mean, everybody's on their <laughs> cell, so like whatever Is area. Is there sensors on our phones? Probably too. everything. I'm a conspiracy guy now. Exactly. This is part of our therapy to work through such things. And supposedly you can hear the show back anytime at stevejay.com. Uh, Patrick says Stevie saw on Twitter the East Peoria mayor announced he will not be enforcing the governor's orders. And supports his town's small businesses. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can do that. Under the auspices of a public pandemic, I think the uh, health departments have a lot of power. These are unelected people that have a whole lot of power. And that bothers a whole bunch of us. Marty had texted in a, a tweet from uh, Chuck Calesto about uh, Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer requiring bars and restaurants to take down customers' names and phone numbers starting today. So yeah. this is probably a contact tracing deal. Yeah, 840. Flooring Surfaces is a local business that's open to serve the construction and housing industry. Over 1 million square feet of flooring options are in stock in Champaign, along with professional tools, adhesives, setting materials, and underlayments you need to build waterproof showers, tile kitchen backsplashes, and renovate entire floors of your home. Over 20 years of operation has made Flooring Surfaces your premier source for hardwood, carpet, laminate, porcelain tile, and everything else. Right now, we're starting the summer of savings with discounted pricing on hundreds of options. You'll find select in-stock hardwoods that are half off, double discounts on laminate floors, and tile that starts at a buck and a quarter per square foot. So here's what to do. Call 398-1990 to arrange a showroom experience, a safe in-home consultation, or to have your order pulled and ready for pickup we will help you find the right floor and during the summer of savings you'll find it for less don't worry flooring surfaces has your floor covered hi this is dan moison president of simplified computers covid19 has changed the way we work study and play the virus is ripping across the country but the little culprit will not win simplified computers remains dedicated to helping you work safely we offer in-store and curbside service seven days a week we are a one-stop computer sales repair and consulting company come see us today at 901 south neal street or online at simplifiedcomputers.com or at 352-5000 simplified computers simply the best when you make the right decision, it feels good, like picking the perfect accent rug or choosing a good night's sleep over an all-night crime show binge. It feels really good to make the right insurance decision, too. That's why State Farm agent Kurt Lenschow is right here in Champaign-Urbana to help you select the right protection at the right price. Kurt will make sure you understand your State Farm coverages so you'll know what to expect if the unexpected happens. Just call him when you want the real deal. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. If you're looking for a car dealership that is 100% attentive to detail, look no further than Sarah Champagne. Sarah Champagne knows you have high expectations, but they enjoy the challenge of meeting and exceeding those standards each and every time. Sarah Honda, Sarah BMW, Sarah GMC, Sarah Buick, and Sarah Subaru in Savoy or online Sarah, S-E-R-R-A, Champagne.com. I'm Mark Sheldon, your County Recorder of Deeds. For 14 years, I also served as your County Clerk. At that time, I never supported the merger of the Recorder and the Clerk. Why was that? Very simply, I actually talked to the experts in this area, such as bankers, title companies, and attorneys. They record $1 billion in property transactions each year, and most don't support a merger. My opponent claims the Cook County, quote, seems to be doing fine. Cook County has a six to eight week delay in recording right now. In Champaign County, you can walk in the office and immediately get a document filed. Two years ago, county Democrats told voters it didn't matter who the treasurer was. In two years, we've seen taxpayers get double billed and homeowners have their refinancing delayed. 
I want to make the recorder appointed rather than an elected politician so we can ensure professional administration in the future. Paid for by Citizens for Mark Sheldon. All right, quick sports headlines Purdue. on the ESPN 93.5. Purdue beat the Illini 31-24, but we're learning about the 14 players that were out. Brandon Peters and uh, tight end Griffin Moore uh, tested positive. I know Illini backup quarterback Isaiah Washington was Williams. Lifted. William. Wh- Isaiah okay. Williams. Okay. Was lifted from the uh, game due to contact tracing protocols. So... Uh, not sure how we're going to look uh, in the lineup against uh, Minnesota knows? at who 2.30 knows? on Saturday. NFL teams of local interest, New Orleans beat the Bears in overtime. Uh, the final was 26-23. A few errors from the Bears. Minnesota over Green Bay, 28-22. The Colts over Detroit, 41-21. Tampa Bay and New York Giants in action at 7 o'clock tonight. In golf, Darren Clark on top of the PGA leaderboard. Chase Elliott gets the checkered flag. Yeah, we're getting nine points against Minnesota. Nine. I see. We don't know who's playing, so I'm surprised it's on the board. This message brought to you by PDR Automotive. Fall is here in Champaign-Urbana, and October is an important month. It's not only Car Care Month, it's also Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So ladies, please schedule your screening today. And to schedule your car care winter inspection, that can be done at pdrauto.com or by calling 367-9481. That's pdrauto.com or at 367-9481. Remember, they're what's best for your truck or car. They are PDR, keeping you safe out on the roads this winter. Hi, this is Gina from ABC Heating and Air Conditioning. If you want a locally owned family business to help you always be comfortable who have trained talented licensed and experienced technicians then call me to schedule an appointment we'll check your furnace to make sure it'll keep you warm this winter and just like our name abc you will always be comfortable we are a licensed amenity dealer and are standing by to help you anytime day or night call me gina at 352-5400 or at abcheatingandac.com When you're looking for a business to work with, you choose someone local, someone who's terrific at what they do, a company that helps others in need in Champaign-Urbana, and a company that stands behind what they do. That company is Roof Doctors. Roof Doctors has been keeping the rain out for over 30 years. Randy and Tammy and their family work hard to not only make sure you're 100% satisfied by their work, but that they also strive to have a positive impact on Champaign-Urbana. Roof Doctors in Urbana, they make you their number one priority. My name is Tina Hughes, and I am a Champaign County farmer. I farm not just for this generation, but for generations to come. I farm with sustainability and the future in mind. I farm to provide three safe, nutritious, and healthy meals for my family and for yours. I farm using technology and the best practices available to allow my kids and grandkids to be able to farm this ground long after I am gone. Farming is a tough business, and times are hard right now, but I will farm for my family and for yours. Champaign County farmers farm for you. A message from the Champaign County Farm. Bureau. Diane had it right. I should just keep my mic off. It's Isaiah Washington. I had Juice Williams on the brain. It's all good. Steve. Isaiah Washington, uh, contact tracing. He's not, I don't think he's available for Minnesota. So that means we had Matt Robinson and he got hurt like on the third play. Right. And then we went to Karan Taylor, mm-hmm. who'd never played. Right. And, you know, a bunch of turnovers, but he got better. Well, and it's looking like Minnesota and Rutgers will be the games missed due to all the Big Ten protocols. Of- yeah, so what are you going to do? Do the best you can. I mm-hmm. thought they did a good job competing. I thought it was going to be a blowout, and they, it wasn't. Okay, well, one more text to get to before we leave here in this morning's therapy. Stand by. Does your financial advisor take the time to really listen to you? Is your financial strategy personalized for you and your family? Will your financial advisor be there as your life and financial situation change? Hi, I'm Mike Kessel, your local Edward Jones Financial Advisor. When we work together, we focus on what's important to you. We use an established process to create a personalized financial strategy backed by the advice, tools, and resources to help you reach your goals. And we'll partner to help your strategy stay on track. Contact us, 217-352-0117. Edward Jones, member SIPC. Green Street Realty is excited to share details about some of their newest properties. At 1007 West University, it's the den. Close to the engineering quad, these all-inclusive units feature high-end finishes. At 309 East Springfield, 
Field, Icon boasts a great campus location within walking distance to the grocery store and featuring a huge rooftop amenity deck. Check out View at 711 South 4th Street, featuring an on-site fitness center and a prime campus location. And don't miss 200 Vine Street, Urbana's hottest new location close to downtown. For more information on all these great units, visit GreenStreetRealty.com. Westgate Apartments are ready for everything you need year-round. Westgate Apartments are quiet, a fun, gated community with an on-site staff and amenities galore. The kids have a playground in season. They're splashing in the pool, picnic areas for grilling out, and beautiful acres of green space. Plus the 24-hour fitness center equipped with all you need to work out. Join the Westgate family at westgateapts.net. That's westgateapts.net. Fighting Illini football is back. And although things will look different this season, one thing remains the same. Game day spirit is the best place to gear up to support your Fighting Illini. From apparel to drinkware and everything in between, they have everything you need to cheer on the Fighting Illini this college football season. Visit them at the corner of Neal and Kirby in Champaign or 6th and Green in Campus Town or shop online 24-7 at gamedayspirit.com. That's gamedayspirit.com. Hi, I'm Troy Lands, owner of Lands Inc. Your heating and cooling system works hard for you all year long to keep you and your family comfortable. That's why it's important to have it maintained and serviced regularly. Our techs are ready to help you with all your indoor air quality, humidity, and filtration needs. Visit LandsInc.com today for specials on a brand new train system for your home and to see for yourself why it's hard to stop a train. At Lands Inc., our commitment is to you, the customer. I'm Troy Lands, and you can go to my company because you can count on me. Don't look now, but Christmas is right around the corner, is it? Well, if you haven't made holiday plans for your family or business, the Long Branch Steakhouse in downtown Gifford will host private Christmas parties Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday night for a guaranteed minimum of people. For more information, call Donnie, 217-568-7722. That's 568-7722 for more details. Don't wait until the last minute to make your Christmas party before the date is gone. Choose the Long Branch Steakhouse this holiday season located in downtown Gifford. Yeah, I thought it was Isaiah Williams. It's uh, all over the internet. It says Isaiah Washington. So there's a lot of air out there. Isaiah Williams is the backup for Illinois football. I thought that was the instinctive thing I said. And then I looked and said Isaiah Washington. But no, it's Isaiah Williams. And he's not playing against Minnesota. You know, but hopefully he'll be available along with Brandon. Brandon Peters is out for like three games because it's a Big Ten 21 day since your positive test. Mm -hmm. So he'll probably be out uh, for Rutgers as well. Right. All right. uh, Text. Okay. ESPN 93.5 at 359-2255. I feel for the owners of Piaz, but he said everything of his could be taken away. Well, what of his being open spreads the disease and literally takes away lives? That is truly everything. You claim to be pro-life and say all lives matter. Well, I guess for you, not all lives do. Uh, the politicalization has been done by Republicans, and the closings are not popular and have no political gain. Republicans have made mask wearing and social distancing political and not based in science. It's all Republicans' fault. Well, here's part of my point. Thank you for the text. Is that you can't possibly understand what it means to lose a business unless you've done it or you've been fearful of it. There's death on that side, too. Stephen Moore, economist, says there's 10,000 deaths for every one point of unemployment. Don't th- those lives matter, right? I mean, if you kill yourself, if you're OD on drugs, if you don't get your cancer treatment because of coronavirus, you die. Doesn't that matter too? Isn't that just as concerning as those that catch it and die? I'm saying we can walk and chew gun at the same time. We can figure this out. Those high risk have to be terribly careful because it can kill you. Mm -hmm. I believe in people making their own risk assessments. I don't believe in the government telling me what's best for me. That's just a philosophical choice. That's just me. I, Stevie J, believe I can decide for my family whether I want to bowl tonight, not the governor. And those lives that are dying on the other side, that's what I mean. Nobody can understand that (laughs) unless they're in it. Those getting checks and have never been food insecure or have never been paycheck insecure, you can't understand. That's the problem. You don't get the fact that we're going to lose a lot more lives without our businesses and 5,000 restaurants and 600,000 unemployed, and they might OD tonight because they don't have any money. Mm -hmm. You've got to consider that. 
But I, I've been saying that all along. Nobody can get it because they the people that are health first and forget about the businesses. It's all about the lives. You lose lives there. But if you don't if you don't lose your paycheck, you don't get it. You, Matt, you won't no, understand it. Whoever texted that is the problem. It, it is just hard. Deb Frank Finance said, I empathize. My family was in retail. Well, right. you can't really do it unless you come out and say, I'm not taking my check till this is over. You wouldn't do that because you'd probably have a hard time paying for stuff. That's where we are. The people in small business are frantic that they're going to lose everything they work for. Imagine an 80-year family restaurant going out of business. How devastating is that? But that's the problem. You can you can speak all you want, but boy, somebody catching coronavirus and and having diabetes and they're 82 and you gave it to them, they di- you, you you killed them. Joe Biden saying 210,000 deaths when he said it was 210,000 deaths would have all been prevented had Trump not been president. How irresponsible is that? So, therein lies the problem of understanding and empathy that death happens on both sides of this. You can't simply quit. Because people get it and die. You can't quit when you, when the restaurant closes and they die there, too. you got to balance it. you got to use common sense, and, and we know a lot about it now. We can do both. One more day. Election tomorrow. We'll see what happens. If the Democrats win, Corona will be over Thursday. So that'll be good. <laughs> anyway, we'll see what happens. Listen, good therapy. Yes, good session. thanks for the therapy, And I Stevie. truly believe those that, that, you know, disagree, that's great. We need to talk. Sure. But I, there, it emphasized the concern and the problem I have is that there's no empathy, understanding truly, unless you give up your check and say I'm going to be I'm going to be with everybody. We're in the same storm but different boats. Thank uh-huh. you, Diane. Enjoy the day. All right, I'm Stevie J. Meet you back on the radio tomorrow. Election day tomorrow. It'll be a big day. Talk to you soon. Have a great Monday. Urbana Park District is coming to you. Introducing Urbana. Urbana is the Park District's new mobile recreation unit. Through a generous partnership with the Carl Foundation, bringing fun activities to a neighborhood near you will happen more frequently. Follow Urbana on Facebook and Instagram to see where it will be next. Remember, at Urbana Park District, you belong here. Visit urbanaparks.org for details. When you enroll in Army ROTC, you'll get leadership training that's valuable for any career, and you can get help paying for college. Army ROTC enhances your college experience and helps you start strong. Visit GoArmy.com slash ROTC for more information. To find out more, visit your campus Army ROTC representative or call 217-265-6857. Start strong with Army ROTC. Paid for by the United States Army. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. (laughs) Whoa, 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 whoa. It's too early for that. (laughs) Not at Dick Van Dyke Appliance World. We are ready for Thanksgiving early. I haven't even bought my turkey yet. You will need a dependable freezer to put it in before you buy. It's too early to buy the best pumpkins for my pumpkin pie. It's not too early to replace that old range that bakes unevenly. You got that right. Hey! Oh, I'm going to put off replacing my microwave. Those Thanksgiving leftovers are a long ways off. Better lock one in now at a great price. Can I order it online and have it shipped to my house? Have it shipped or installed online or come into the store. Our award-winning service and sales team is staffed and ready for the holidays. Get your Thanksgiving shopping done early and worry-free at Dick Van Dyke Appliance World. Great products are on sale now. If you wait, all you get are the leftovers. <laughs> I'm retired Judge Heidi Ladd, and I'm speaking to you because I believe so strongly in Judge Jason Baum. I served as his mentor judge, and from day one he was exceptional, very patient and caring, always prepared and guided by fairness. Judge Baum is highly respected and well-liked by people from all sides. Jason Baum is exactly the kind of judge we need right now. Please join me in voting to keep Judge Baum on the bench. Paid for by friends of Judge Jason Baum. At Body and Soul, you know that their experienced associates have been helping runners get the proper fit for over 41 years. And during this time, Body and Soul Sports encourages you to go running or walking or anything to stay in shape to keep you fit both mentally and physically. And at Body and Soul Sports, they offer free shipping on any purchase over $69. Body and Soul Sports is also safe to visit with all COVID and CDC guidelines followed. Body and Soul Sports, simply the best of what they do, just off Neil near Curtis and Savoy. 
Visit them at bodyandsoulsports.com. Chad Burnett, also resource officer, Urbana Police Department. You're at the high school. How has that changed? Kids get older. Obviously, they're more set in their ways. But, you know, I try to be present in the hallways. I try to be present in the cafeteria while I'm there. Smile, say hello. And you'd be surprised that you, uh, the amount of kids that will actually come up and talk to you and have the interaction with you. And I just want to continue that and develop that and alleviate some of those fears that they may have of the police. Why do you want to do this, Chad? It's important. Youth today, you know, they have an apprehension and fear of police. I think it's important that we break that down, establish that in the school so it carries back over to the street. I think it makes our officers more presentable to youth when they're on the street. And I think as the same, youth, you know, we work with them. Mm-hmm. We're going to have to build those relationships, and it's going to be a better thing for both sides. Why did you want to be a police officer? I think being a police officer, you gave me an opportunity to help people. That's that's a pretty general answer, but it's the truth. Hi, this is Jay Farner, CEO of Rocket Mortgage. Making the right financial decisions has never been more important. We can help guide you to those right decisions now when they matter most. Mortgage rates are near historic lows, so when you call 8338-ROCKET or visit us at rocketmortgage.com to start your refinance, you'll be well on your way to saving money every month. The rate today on our 30-year fixed-rate mortgage is 3.125%, APR 3.43%. Right now could be a great time for you to take some positive financial steps forward with a cash-out refinance from Rocket Mortgage, which could give you the boost that you're looking for. In addition, we may be able to help you refinance with little or no out-of-pocket costs. At Rocket Mortgage, we're committed to every client, every time, no exceptions, no excuses, giving you the best mortgage experience. Call us today at 8338-ROCKET or go to rocketmortgage.com to learn more. Rates subject to change. Pay 2.875% fee to receive this discounted rate. Call for cost information and conditions. Equal housing lender. License in all 50 states. NMLS number 3030. You're listening to WSJK ESPN.